What types of content should you be creating to build your business? This isn't a simple question to answer, but it's much easier when you understand the three content buckets I'm gonna to touch on today. Hi, I am Tim Fitzpatrick with Rialto Marketing, where we believe marketing shouldn't be difficult. All you need is the right plan. Planning is so, so important to being effective, and it's something that so many people skip. Uh, so thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. I'm going to talk about content marketing today. Content marketing plays a really important role in lean generation and moving people through the customer journey. Uh, if you're not familiar with the customer journey, it's just that, that journey that prospects and customers take the minute from the minute they think about working with a company like yours all the way through a buying and doing repeat and referral business. I'm not going to tell anybody that you absolutely have to have content marketing to be successful. There's plenty of examples of people that don't use it that are hugely successful. But content marketing is a staple in so many solid marketing plans and has proven to be effective. We obviously subscribe to it, love content marketing. But how do you hone in on the type of content that you should be creating? There are only three categories of content. And I think once you understand these categories and you understand the goal for each piece of content that you create and you put out there, it becomes much easier to think about the type of content that you should be focusing on. This concept was actually shared with me several months ago. I had never actually seen it before. Um, it was shared with me from a gentleman by the name of Sharon Shravatsa. If you do not know Sharon, go check him out. Super smart guy. You can find him at Sharon.com. That's S H A R R A N. Dot com. Super smart guy. So go check him out. But um, this really resonated with me. So that's why I want to share it with you. So the three content buckets are educational content, inspirational content, and entertaining content. Almost any content can be placed in one of those buckets. So let's just dig into each of these a little bit. So educational content, right? What are we doing with educational content? We are serving. We are teaching people. And the great thing about teaching is it helps you build credibility, trust, and authority over time. Okay, it helps build that relationship with your prospects and your customers. What forms, what types of educational content are there? Well, I mean, it can be webinars. It can be workshops that you do, in-person training or speaking, um, podcast episodes, you know, like this. This is a perfect example of that. This is educational content that I'm creating right now. Um, videos, you might be doing educational videos, things like that, blog posts. Those are all examples of potential educational content. Now, inspirational content, right? We're inspiring. We are encouraging people. Along our journeys as entrepreneurs, we, we, we constantly run into roadblocks. And if we can't stay inspired and encouraged to keep pushing through those roadblocks, people inevitably drop off. So inspirational content can be a great way to stay in front of your audience and really help them push through things when, when maybe they're down. Okay. And so it can also be a great way to connect. Inspirational content can be sharing stories, stories from your personal life or your business life that mean help people who are running up against that same very roadblock right now. It could be quotes, inspirational quotes. There's, those are all over the place. Those are two really simple ways of sharing inspirational content with your audience. But you just have to think about what are the roadblocks that our audience runs into and create inspirational content to help meet them where they're at. Or if they are running into that potential roadblock, that piece of content can really help them push through it. The last one, entertaining content. I'm going to be honest, I stay away from entertaining content. Um, it's just not my thing and that's okay. You don't have to create content that is in all three of these buckets. You do not. Most companies I see are doing one or two. Um, entertaining content can work really well if that's part of your brand. You know, if your brand is is funny and, and entertaining, well, then great. Entertaining content may be a great fit for you. If you're a charismatic person and you're, you know, 
I don't know. I don't think that I'm a terribly charismatic person. Entertaining is not my thing. So I stay away from it. But if that's you, entertaining content can be a great way to get in front of, attract, gain interest for from your prospects and your customers. Okay. So those are the three content buckets, educational, inspirational, and entertaining. Now that you know these three buckets, think about your brand, what you want, what you stand for, you know, how you want to be portrayed, what your brand voice and personality is, and start creating content that makes the most sense for you and your audience. And as you create content, think about creating content that is going to meet your audience where they're at in the journey. The type of content that you're going to create for somebody that's just thinking about working with you, right? The type of content we create for somebody that's thinking about, you know, getting a new website or needing marketing help is different than the type of person that is further down the road. Maybe they've done some marketing, but they need to continue to push through some roadblocks to get to the next level. The type of content we create is going to be slightly different for those people. Look at creating content that is going to meet people where they are in the journey, and that's going to help them continue to move through the journey to get to that place where they're ready to buy, ready to do repeat and referral business with you. So I hope you found this helpful. If you are struggling with content marketing and you need some outside eyes, look, no pressure from me. Pop on over to our website if it would be helpful for you. RialtoMarketing.com. That's R-I-A-L-T-O marketing.com. Click on the get a free consultation button. I would be happy to chat with you, give you some outside eyes on what you're doing from a content marketing perspective. Or if you're just thinking about starting, what you should, what you should think about to start and help put a, a plan in place to help you be consistent with your content marketing. Can absolutely help you with that. Guarantee you will get some value from that call. So if you want to take advantage of it, please do. Thanks so much for taking the time to tune in. Hope you found this helpful. And uh, till next time, take care.